da, 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 da. All right, guys. Hello. Hope you're all keeping well. Well, this isn't what I had planned. I had planned something totally different. I was I was wanting to go out and test today uh, the flip mode. But anyway, so the rain came on and I came home. Hit me. What will I do? I'm bored. So anyway, guys, just quickly going to want to talk to you about this. If it'll focus, I'll show you a better picture in a minute. It's not going to focus. This is the Chinese generic uh, it's the VTX 58 48 uh, 5.8 gigs 48 channel uh, VTX it's supposed to do 600 milli up to 600 milliwatt now look guys this isn't going to be scientific it's not really a review review uh, it's just something I wanted to talk about because online on YouTube there's about three videos for this and that's all there is and there's no more these are going on uh, they're on sale on Banggood for about 15 quid if you search Aliexpress I have a buyer or a seller sorry I have one in the flip mode I have one in the red one I don't I have one in the uh, rooster but I don't have one in the top one because it's running the uh, Fox here uh, mix like a split cam and I didn't have room to fit it on a triple stack but anyway guys, this is the VTX 5848, there was no videos except for three on YouTube so I thought I'd make a wee quick video. It's not going to be scientific because I have no way of telling you the actual output power. So sorry about that guys, but I don't have a power meter. I asked online a couple of guys if there was anybody in Northern Ireland had one of the Immersion RC uh, me sniffer power meters. Uh, but nobody had one, uh, so unfortunately I can't do a power test. But... Uh, and I'm not going to fork out 70 quid just to buy an immersion RC power meter. All I can tell you is that I have ripped out a Maytag. The Maytag VTX. I've ripped one of them out because it's crap compared to these. I had this originally in my uh, rooster and I took this out. And I also got one of these e uh 805s, the TX 805s, I bought one of these as well to try because it was on a good price and I ended up and ripped it out again as well and I stuck another one of these in because I already had these in uh, other builds so uh, guys I have spare ones, I bought a few spare, tenner a pop, it cost me a tenner each of Aliexpress for a tenner for a 600 milliwatt VTX is uh, hard to beat now we'll have a wee quick look here at these in uh, the other builds here. Right guys, so I know this isn't going to be the easiest for you to see. But in here, this is the flip mode by the way, the Superfly flip mode. And in here in the bottom, we have a 50 amp a 4-in-1 ESC. It's the iFlight Sussex 50 amp. And uh, just above that, then we have the iFlight uh, Sussex F7 a Twin G flight controller. And then just above that again, we have the uh, that VTX, the VTX 5848, just above that in the stack. So it's a triple stack in there. And from top to bottom, we'll lay some clearance between stacks. Now, I'm only talking about a millimetre between the stacks and a bit between the board, which is hard to see. Uh, altogether, the total height of that build is about 17 millimetres. So it leaves just enough room for a strap to fit in between the top of the VTX and the top carbon fibre plate on this wee quad. Right, and this is my wee red uh, quad as well, and in there, now this isn't a triple stack, this is ju just a double stack, this has got the Maytech uh, F405 CTR all on one board in there, and then just above that again in there is the VTX5848, sorry, and this is the rooster, and it's a wee bit tight in there, but still, uh, at the bottom this is the, uh, that's the Mamba, F405 uh, 30 by 30 stack in there, 40 amp ESC in the bottom, then the uh, F4 flight controller just above that part of the stack uh, from Mamba, Diatone Mamba, and then just above that again we have the VTX5848 and you can see the two buttons for uh, changing the power levels in the channel on the side of it there. The other side's harder to see because it's got a uh, strap in the way but it's in there and it fits. So guys as you can see that's the wee flight controller there, it's 30 30 30 by 30 uh, mountains on the top of it here we have the BMM uh, CX uh, connection for the pigtail to plug into uh, pigtail comes right angled uh, the only thing about the pigtail is it comes and it is uh, 
RP, reverse polarity SMA antenna. It's got the pin in the threaded part there. That's the only thing. A lot of people like uh, SMA. This is reverse polarity. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'm happy enough with RP SMA. Uh, so it comes with that wee pigtail. It also comes with a wee cable, a uh, wee plug. Plugs into the bottom. Uh, there it has a 1 amp, uh, one amp 5 volt output on it as well to feed a camera. So you get your 5 volt, you got your ground, you get your video, you get uh, your battery uh, negative and positive going in, and then you have your RXD. This wee uh, VTX can be controlled uh, using uh, IRC Trump protocol uh, through beta flight. So you hook uh, the, the RXD up to uh, a UART. And you set the peripherals up uh, on whatever you are you're on in beta flight, and you go across to the very uh, right hand side, and you click on that you are, and you drop it down, and you select IRC Trump, and then you can use your OSD menu using the controllers. You can go into your OSD, and you can go down into your settings for the VTX, change the channel, change the power level, as well, and it also has pit mode. Uh, this VVTX has a pit mode. So on the side, then you have power level, and then you have the channels as well. So you can change the channel. 48 channels, and it goes from uh, 25 watt, uh, 100 watt, 200, 400, and 600 watts. It, the, the reason why I love it too is because on this side here, the bottom of it, it's completely flat. So you can stick it in uh, your build on top of a stack. Let me see. You would need to change this. this is the wee Mamba stack. You would need to change this about obviously, but the good thing about it is, unlike some other VTX, is a bit like uh, the Maytag. It's a bit. Oh, hang on, we'll get the other one. Where did it go? Where did it go? Here, this is the e scene, and you can see the e scene one. It's got components on the bottom side, and it's only two holes. And whenever you're trying to put it on a stack, it's obviously it only can go on the two holes there, and. It means the component, depending on your stack and what space you have, the underside, the components on the underside is going to hit the components on the flight controller. Do you know what I mean? Depending where it is this, because it's totally flat on one side. You just bang it on the stack there. Bob's your uncle. Four nuts on it, and that's you. You're good to go. You know, a couple of wee connections. You can either use, you can use this wee plug on it here. Like I say, the wee cable comes supplied, or else on the reverse side of it here. They're very, very small. One of my builds actually use this, but on the other side, you have your uh, RXD for your uh, UART to connect to, DC in, and it also takes between 2 and 6S, which is what, 7 to 27 volt. So you get your RXD for IRC tramp, you get your DC in, your ground, your video in, and then your ground and 5 volt out for the camera there as well. I know it's not a top of the range uh, VTX, but it does what it says in the tin. For a tenner, for anybody like me who's on a budget and likes building loads of wee sort of quads on the cheap and we're up building very big expensive TBS things and using Immersion RC, this and that and the other and Fat Sharks and all, this is good enough for me. And I'm sure anybody watching this video, you're probably wanting, watching this to see how good it is. And in my opinion, uh, it's pretty damn good for all the price of it. I can fly around the park with no issues and if I need to bump up the power to 600 watt or milliwatt sorry I've got that option I can bump the power up and there's but where I fly maybe at the two or three hundred meters around the park out and back in and messing about 25 milliwatt and 200 milliwatt is doing the job for me no problem. Okay so there you have it that's just a wee quick look sorry like I say I'm really sorry that I couldn't actually show you any power reading. If I ever get my hands on one of the immersion RC uh, power meters will do a wee quick test to let you see the output power. In my opinion it does get a wee bit hot in use. Nothing too bad to worry about. If you're putting it on a stack just leave yourself a wee bit of space so a bit of airflow can get through there. Uh, but other than that, for all the price of it, now there's a video on YouTube in English, somebody talking about it a wee bit, at least you've had a wee look at it, you can see what you think. You've had my opinion, it's a good for what it is, it's a great wee VTX, it does what it says it does and it's all I need it for, it does everything I need it for guys, you know. Right guys, good night, take care, and that will get you all again sometime. Thanks for watching, and bye bye for now. Ciao, ciao.